I first attended Identities After School program in the eighth grade. It helped build my confidence and self-esteem. It became a second family, gave me unconditional love and respect, which I wasn't finding at home. Latina girls are often treated as reprodu reproducing machines, only good for taking care of the house. There is so much machismo. Men wanting to control the women. It is often a real challenge for Latinas to feel empowered and capable. The girls believe these things themselves and they become submissive and stuck. In 2007, my mother finally came to Maryland from Nicaragua. She was undocumented. Then she met an American who wanted to marry her. My two brothers arrived with green cards in 2010. So we suddenly had a happy ending. A reunited family with a new stepfather. But he didn't speak any Spanish and she didn't speak any English. So at the age of 17, I became the translator for their entire relationship. My stepfather became verbally abusive to my mother and obsessed with me. Sometimes he watched me take a, sh take a shower. Other times he abused me verbally and kicked me out of the house. But my mother couldn't protect me. Because at this time we were still trying to get my brothers out of, out of my country. I found myself becoming more than a translator, having to make decisions whether I should tell my mother all the horrible things he was saying about her. But once my brother were safely with us here in Maryland, both my mother and I were able to deal with my stepfather. We got protection orders, got him out of the house, and finally my mother divorced him. Another happy ending. But so many times I felt that I became the head of, the, of our family. And it's still sometimes and I still sometimes feel like I'm my mother's mother, which is overwhelming to me. Will you learn to forgive my daughter's daughter? Will you learn to forgive your parents' mistakes? We see our hopes, we see our futures shining through you. Daughter, daughter. 